Welcome to week 13 NFL picks and predictions. Last week we had a bad week, bro. We went 8 and 5. Overall now we are 118 and 61, but this week we got to be good cuz last week, bro, like the Steelers lost, the Texans lost, and it's like what am I supposed to do about, it, bro? Even the Commanders lost, you know. That's some bad ones right there. That should have been three locks right there. But hey, I got all the locks for you this week. So make sure you stay tuned for this video cuz I'm going to give you the best picks of the week and yeah. We're going to go undefeated this week. Let's get it. All right, to start us off, we have the Detroit Lions against the Chicago Bears. We have three Thanksgivings, bro. Three Thanksgiving games. We got three Thanksgiving games. I just said that three times. But we got one Black Friday game. Then we got a bunch of games on Sunday. And then we have Monday Night Football. So, guys, from Thursday until Monday, we have football every day. But Saturday, but Saturday we got college football. So, that's lit, too. But here we go. Um, we got this. Let's see. I'm going the Lions, bro. I don't think... The Bears. I picked the Bears last week to beat the Vikings. I still think they should have beat them. Like I thought that was a really good pick. Um, but the Bears just ain't got it this year, bro. It's unfortunate to see because I was excited to watch this Bears team for show. Um, but they lost five straight games, and they're going to make it six. And it might just be time to tank um, and try to get a better pick. Not really sure what the Bears should draft. Bears fans probably know better than me. But the Lions look hot. I am an Eagles fan, so it'll be lit if the Lions took an L so the Eagles get the number one seed. But the Eagles got a tough game this week, too, against the Ravens, so we will see. The New York Giants at the Cowboys. As far as I know, Tommy DeVito is starting. If Drew Locke was starting, I might be inclined to take the Giants, but the fact that the Giants um, aren't playing Drew Locke, I got to go Cowboys to win this game. This is going to be a terrible game to watch. Like Drew Locke or Tommy DeVito against Brandon Rush, Cooper Rush, whatever his name is. I'm just not. I'm, that doesn't move me. That doesn't get me excited for some Thursday night football. But talking about Thursday night football, we got the Miami Dolphins at the Green Bay Packers. I think the Dolphins can win this game. But every part of my body is telling me that they won't because it's going to be cold. And we saw how Tua and them boys looked last year in the cold against the Chiefs. It's going to be like 20 degrees in Green Bay, bro. And, like, the run game for the Packers has looked really good. But, I don't know, bro. Whatever the spread is, I would take the Dolphins plus five, plus three, whatever they are. Because I think it's going to be a close game. I don't think they get blown out. And this is a must-win game for the Dolphins. Like, if they want to sneak into that playoff race, they need to win this game. Um, but I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to take the Packers. So, we're taking all three home games, all three home teams for this upcoming uh, Thursday Thanksgiving game. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Not too sure, but, yeah, I'm excited to see that game for sure. Raiders at Chiefs. Another game where I would take the plus money on the Raiders when it comes to the spread because I feel like um, they're not losing by more than two touchdowns, and that's pretty sure you can get it plus 14 and a half. But, obviously, I'm taking the Chiefs, bro. Like, this is the type of game that the Raiders could win. I think they beat them last year on Black Friday or last year on, like, a random Thursday game or something. Y'all remember the Jack Jones little pick and all that type of stuff. He was going crazy. Uh, but, yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs, bro. I heard Antonio Pierce say the worst team against the best team. Let's see what happens. Let's make it a real Black Friday mania, whatever. Cool, I guess. Um, literally the AFC and NFC versions of each other, we have the Chargers and the Falcons. Like, the Falcons be charging and the Chargers be falconing. And then they both charger and both Falcons. So, like... I think these are both the same teams when it comes to their respective conferences. Um, the Chargers, I like them this year. Kirk Cousins has a good game every other game. And I'm pretty sure last game he had a stinker against Seattle, if I'm not wrong. Um, and the Chargers, bro, like, they have a good defense and all. But I'm taking Atlanta off the bye week to win this game because it's a big game for both teams. Like, the Chargers need to win this game to stay ahead of the Broncos in the wild card race. The Falcons need to win this game because Tampa Bay's won a couple games and they're kind of creeping up. Um, yeah, they're only like one or two games up in their division. So both teams need this game. It's going to be a big game. Probably one of the better games at 10 a.m. Uh, so we'll see. Actually, now that I'm looking, there's a lot of good games at 10 a.m. Steelers at the Bengals. Bengals must win. Steelers lost to the Browns. Another divisional matchup. It's going to be another hard-nosed fight. But, bro, I'm telling this is the last time I'm believing in the Bengals, y'all. Y'all know I've been riding the Bengals all season pause. Uh, but this is the last time I'm choosing the Bengals. I think all 16, all teams play this week. Yeah, everybody plays this week, I think. Week 13. Yeah, so it's lit. But, yeah, I'm taking the Bengals at home to beat the Steelers. 
Um, I'd also take the Bengals minus three for you gamblers out there. You know, I don't be gambling like that. Tight shit, tight shit, tight shit. But uh, I think the Bengals got to win this game. I think their offense is explosive enough to beat the Steelers defense. Um, but they need to get some going in the run game to open up that pass game. But Jamar Chase is a demon. T. Higgins is a demon. And Joe Burrow is having an MVP-type season. So I have faith in the Bengals, especially after the Steelers lost last week. Even if the Steelers won last week, I still think the Bengals might upset them. Cardinals at Vikings. This is another tough game to pick, bro, because, like, I have faith in the Cardinals. But they go and lose to Seattle, who I think sucks. And there's a bunch of bots. Um... So, yeah, I'm really not sure how I feel about this game. But if I'm going to be honest, I'm not. I think the Vikings are frauds, bro. Like, y'all know if you've watched any of my other videos that I think the Vikings are frauds. And I do think the Vikings are frauds. I think they're the worst 9-2 team in football. There's only, like, three of them, and I think they're the worst. So, I think that's a valid statement. Um, but I got to take some upsets this week, bro. I think I'm going Arizona Cardinals to beat the Vikings at home. Everybody's going to be, school Well, Kyler Murray's in the end zone uh, playing Call of Duty and shit. You feel me? Like, playing Black Ops. You know, Kyler, Kyler's been playing a lot of Call of Duty. He's going to be locked in for this game. Uh, he 1v1 Justin Jefferson and beat him 26-5. to So, I got faith in Kyler and them boys to get that, get that W. If not, Cardinals are done. The Vikings, I might have to earn some of my respect. But we'll see. Colts at Patriots this is going to be a boo-boo game. Taking the Colts on the road. I think they're a better team. Yes, everybody be saying I'd be glazing Anthony Richardson. But that brother makes plays that makes him seem like he could be great. But then he makes plays that make it seem like he's me playing quarterback in the NFL right now. Which wouldn't be too great, you know. I ain't got to – I can't throw 60 yards, you know. I could make a couple completions maybe, but I ain't no Anthony Richardson when it comes to football. Seattle at the Jets. See, if the Jets were on a roll right now, I would take the Jets. They're coming off a bye week. There's been a lot of stuff going on in the media about Aaron Rodgers leaving and whatnot and whatever. Seahawks just came off a big divisional win. Everybody's like, Seattle's going to win this. The Jets are done. Aaron Rodgers is gone. What not, what not, what not. But guess what? I'm going to be that guy that takes the Jets. I'm taking the Jets at home. Um, I just feel like at one point this season <laughs> – their players got to come together and actually win a game, even though it has no meaning. But just, like, pridefully win a game and be like, yeah, we got the dub, you know? Like, we finally – you saw what we could do. Now let's take that into next season and ball out. Um, but we'll see. They just fired everybody, so I feel like they might win a game, actually. Commanders are also frauds, but the Titans aren't that good, even though they just beat the Texans, which I have no idea how that happened. But I got faith in the Commanders for sure winning this game at home. They need to pick me up. They need to beat a good defense that the Titans do have. Yes, the Titans give up points, but they do have a good defense when it comes to yardage. Um, their quarterback throws a bunch of picks, so it's tough. Um, but, yeah, give me the Commanders at home. Another team that's just like the Commanders is the Texans. Like, they're supposed to be really good, but they're kind of mid. Um, but I'm taking the Texans to beat the Jags on the road because the Jags are no good, even if Trevor Lawrence is playing. ETN doesn't look like ETN. Um, Ryan Thomas is their wide receiver one. rest of their team is just whatever. Rams at Saints. Must win game for both teams. If the Saints have any idea that they think they're going to make the playoffs, good for them. But I'm taking the Rams on the road. Uh, lost a tough game against a really good Eagles team. Alvin Kamara could run crazy against the Rams. But I think the Rams offense is too powerful for the Saints. And I think they finally get back on track after last week. And a couple of weeks before when they weren't looking too great. Um, so I think the Rams go into New Orleans and get that dub. It's like a rematch of the, what, 2018 NFC Championship game? That was a lit game. Bucks at Panthers. We're taking the Bucks to beat the Panthers. It's going to be a big game for the Bucks because the Bucks win this. And uh, the Falcons lose to the Chargers. They'll be tied. Yes, the Falcons will be ahead of them because they beat the Bucks twice this season, but they'll still be tied record-wise, and a lot could get scary in that division. Um, but even if the Saints win and both of these teams lose, everybody will be five and everybody will damn near be five and seven. Um, so it's going to be a lot closer in that conference for sure, in that division for sure. Eagles at Ravens. Okay, Eagles are underdogs. I have to pick my team, bro. Like, what what type of content creator would I be if I didn't glaze my team at every possible chance? You feel me? Um, so, yeah, we're going to take the Eagles. Uh, Niners at Bills. This game would have been lit a few months ago, like at the start of the season, assuming everybody was healthy. 49ers are banged up. I think the Bills end their season on Sunday Night Football and take this dub. Josh Allen is going to have a big game. 
Um, if Brock Purdy plays, they have a chance. They got to get Christian McCaffrey going. He didn't do anything last week, uh, so that was bad. And Monday night football game is gross. The Browns get back-to-back primetime games, which is kind of funny. But we're taking the Broncos at home. Bo Nix for Offensive Rookie of the Year. You heard it here first. But, yeah, we got Broncos over Browns, Bills over Niners, Eagles over Ravens, Bucks over Panthers, Rams over Saints, Texans over Jags, Commanders over Titans, Jets over Seahawks, Colts over Patriots, Cardinals over Vikings, Bengals over Steelers, Falcons over Chargers, Chiefs over Raiders, Packers over Dolphins, Cowboys over Giants, and the Lions over the Bears. I truly expect to be 134 and 61 by next week. We're going 6-0 and this week, baby. Called it here first. When y'all see this video and you make the picks, if you feel to tell me. If y'all need some gambling advice, you know, hit me up if you need it. You know, you got underdog price picks, code Wabo. Yes, sir, W-A-B-O. Go do that when you sign up for a first, you know, bet, whatever. You get all the cool perks with it. Go ahead, use my code. But with that being said, bro, appreciate y'all for watching my week 12, 13 picks and predictions. Um, appreciate y'all for tapping in, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.